Hello and welcome to elapsed time. You've learned how to tell time um, to the 15 minute intervals, the quarters and the halves and the three quarters, and you've learned how to tell time uh, by every five minutes. So you will now be um, learning how to tell how much time has passed between one amount of time to the next amount of time. Okay, so let's look at the sheet here. It says the amount of time from the start of an activity to the end of an activity is called elapsed time. Okay, I've been hinting at this for the last few lessons and now we're finally here. So in order to find the elapsed time, you want to start at the, the uh, smaller time, the earlier time, and then you want to count up to the bigger time, to the later time. Okay, usually we just skip count by fives. Um, we're not going to be going past uh, more than an hour in time for the elapsed time, but we might skip across hours. So go from like 3.55 to 4.10 kind of thing. So it's, it, it gets a little bit tricky and you're going to have to do a lot of practice to get good at it. Okay, um, so the one way that you can, uh, you can be successful at this is by using an actual clock face. So in each example here, I've included a small version of this, but I've included a large version, version here just in case you need to use it for your assignment. Okay, so let's look at an example of, uh, of elapsed time here. So it says Georgia and Taya played chess from 8.20 a.m. to 9.05 a.m. How long did Georgia and Taya play chess for? Use the clocks to help. This should say clock to help. Okay, so what we can do, and especially if I have different colors, um, which I can do that on the smart board, um, I'm going to draw on this, the, both of the times, and then I'll, I'll see where it goes. So 820 is where my first one is. So if I draw 820, I've got my hour hand, which is smaller about there, and then my minute hand, which is longer, to about there. So there's 820, and now I'll do green to 905. So my hour hand is going to be pointing very close to the 9, and then the 5 is going to be up here. Now, for some of you, it's going to seem a little bit tricky, but uh, where you're focusing is on the is on the minute hands right now because it's always going to be um, less than an hour. Okay, so all you need to do once you've got your bigger arrows, all you need to do is skip count by fives until you get to um, the second arrow. Okay, so I remember that my blue was the earlier one; it's the 820, and I have to get to the 05. So I'm just going to start skip counting. So I start here, this is zero minutes, then I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And I've reached to my second arrow. So that means that it's uh, 45 minutes. So um, I could answer this in the form of a sentence and as well. I could say that Georgia and, oops, I need an A in there, and Taya played chess for 45 minutes. And that's how you do it. Okay, so it's really helpful to draw it out on a clock. It gets kind of tricky when you try to do it all in your head. Um, eventually, you'll be able to do that, but to the, for the start, I would suggest drawing it out, okay? So on the back of your paper, we've got a practice. There's three different times, three different uh, elapsed times, I guess, for you to practice. So what you need to do right now is pause the video and then uh, do these three questions and then play once you're finished. If you're still unsure of how to do it, then please watch me do question one first and then try. 
Okay, so um, you've either finished all of these or you need help with question one. So let's do question one together. Um, we start at 7.15 p.m. and we go to 8.10 p.m. We don't really need to worry about the p.m.s and a.m.s right now because we're just we're going within um, 60 minutes. But it's good to it's good to start paying attention to that to the fact that they're both p.m. Okay, so I'm going to draw 7:15 on there. So my little hand is going to go a little bit past seven, and then I need to make my larger hand to the 15. Okay, and then I'll do my second color is blue this time and uh, I need to draw 810. So my little hand will go just past the eight and it'll go uh, put my minute hand at the 10 minute mark. Now I have this memorized of which number is which, but it's okay if you need to count five, 10 to figure out that 10 is at the two. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to skip count by fives from the first one all the way around to the second one. So this one starts at zero minutes then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 55 minutes. Oops. 55 minutes has elapsed in question one. Now if you haven't done question two or three, please pause the video and try now. If you have, then continue along with me. All right, so the second one has um, 2.30 a.m. to 3.15 a.m., a time when we all want to be sleeping. Um, so first we draw 2.30 on there. So my hour hand is going to go in between the 2 and the 3, and my 30 is going to go right at the 6, because that's when 30 is. And then we need 3.15 a.m. as well. So my hour hand is now going to go slightly past to the 3, and my minute hand needs to go directly pointing at the three. Okay, um, so now all I need to do is find out how much time it is from here all the way around to here. So I start here at zero, five, ten, oh, I want it red. There we go. Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. This is forty-five minutes. from here all the way to there. It's 45 minutes. All right, and the last one, we've got 11.45 uh, p.m. to 12.10 a.m. Now this is um, in between midnight is in there, okay? So don't get confused, just draw it out like we have been. So I'll draw 11.45 first. So that means my hour hand is about here, pointing closer to the 12, but still before it. And then my 45 goes right here at the 9. Um, and then I need to do 1210. So I'll grab a different color. Um, and so 1210, that means that my hour hand slightly past the 12. Whoops, that hour hand's a little bit longer than the other one. That's okay. Um, and then we need it at 10. So right here. Okay, and then um, I all I need to do is skip count by fives. So um, I've got from here to here is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this is 25 minutes. If you went all the way around, I could make like a clock flower. Isn't that fun? Okay, so that's, that's, that's how you do elapsed time. And if you use this strategy, you should be okay. If you start to do it in your head, you might get a little bit confused. If you do, please go back to this method. Um, it's visual and it's very straightforward. Okay, whoops. Uh, <laughs> one of this and your assignment again is the BLM. 